Chapter 1, Awakening. Silly girl, stop playing with spider webs. These were the first words that registered in Kamaria's mind. She shook her head from left to right, trying to clear her head. Her vision started clearing, and she focused on her surroundings. She felt her back pressing against something solid. She assumed it was a tree as she noticed the ominous, humid forest around her. These details immediately alarmed her, as the last thing she remembered was being in a city. Where am I? She wondered. She moved her arm to brush something that was tickling her face and realized it was long and wavy hair. When this registered in her head, she stopped moving for a moment in shock before firmly tugging on it again and feeling a stinging pain. Kamari was absolutely certain her hair wasn't that long. The pulling seemed to trigger something as a massive rush of information violently exploded in her head, almost causing her to pass out from the overwhelming pain. She felt like her head was going to explode. She heard a beep in her mind. Floodgates protocol initiated. Kimaria. A massive amount of new information has been discovered. This information contains a foreign language, culture, memories, thoughts, and beliefs. Something forcefully assimilated some of it before protocols fully kick in. How do you want to proceed? Kamaria stayed completely still as her splitting headache died down. We appear to be in an unknown and likely hostile environment. How would you like to proceed? Kamaria finally replied, Sunny, please scan through all the assimilated information, prioritize potential threats and safety, and then organize the rest of it in a new folder. Categorize it so we can look through it later on. Sunny responded, Understood. Starting emergency full body cellular scan. Kamaria sat in silence, holding onto her hair for a few minutes, as her mind finally stopped spinning. Sunny continued, I have determined that this is not our original body. In fact, with the biological markers detected, I can hardly even consider this body to be human. I have detected an undetermined amount of new biological factors in the host body. 300, 2,000, 16,000 unknown factors. Realizing what Sunny said, she urgently started to observe her body. She felt it was weird that everything around her seemed gigantic. Was this body smaller than her old one? She looked at her surroundings before realizing that the woods and everything around her were vastly larger, likely enough to put the evergreens to shame. What's going on? Kimari alarmed asked. Kimari, with her back pressed against a massive tree whose elastic, pore-like bark sank in slightly under the pressure of her hand as she stood. She looked down at her hands, noticing the dark red hue of her skin and the absence of her tattoos and body mods. This was a completely different body, one smaller and seemingly more agile than her old one. She walked on shaky feet, trying to get a bearing on where she was and how she had gotten here. As she examined her body, she realized she was wearing crude clothing made of animal skins and odd fabrics, but with impeccable stitch work. She felt a surge of anxiety as she tried to recall her last memories. She remembered being in a city, not a dark forest. Sunny, what's going on? Kimaria asked, her voice tinged with alarm. Sunny responded, Kimaria, after scanning through your memories and the new information, my general conclusion is that you died in your sleep of a heart attack and other odd complications being reborn in the body of this person. This body differs vastly from the standard range of a human being. There are even new organs outside of what humans are supposed to have. Even the usual ones are slightly different but with similar functions. The vitality of this body is tremendous. The muscle density and structure are beyond anything that a human should have. It's safe to assume we are in a different world. Gravity and multiple environmental conditions differ vastly from our Earth. And Sunny showed Kamaria a blue screen of light in her vision, showing text. Name, Dranioi. Age, 13 years old. Sex, female. Health, unknown status, but healthy. Kamaria's mind reeled at the flood of information. All of this sounds insane, she said, her voice laced with disbelief. How is this possible? 13 years old? Is Dranioi the name of the host of this body? Her heart skipped a beat. She stopped breathing for a second before asking, Wait, where is she? Sunny responded, Regarding the host, it seems she also died from an unknown toxin, likely from our immediate environment. The likely source is the odd tree-like organism you were leaning against. I recommend creating more space between it and yourself. Kamari immediately added more distance between her and the odd tree, brushing off her entire body. There seemed to be some odd powder substance all over her body. Sunny continued, From looking through these memories, she seemed to have been on the autism spectrum. Unfortunately, this made her incompatible with her tribe and culture, so she didn't have 